Well, obviously, going into the, the last game of the season, the Rangers needed one point to win the treble that year. We had to beat them for the championship, so we knew what we had to do. And the build-up to the game, I remember training behind the goals, and I'm telling the guys I had a dream last night I was going to score in this game. And But you know, always knew that the old firm games are always special. There's always an edge to it, there's always a storyline coming out of it, and, but you, no one could have dreamt the way the, the game had turned around. Normally, in a warm-up for most of the games, you go there and there's a few Celtic fans in there, it's filling up, a few away fans it's filling up, it was jam-packed when we were out for the, the warm-up, but the, I think I think it was maybe just before the game, or maybe even after the game, we were told television companies had went on strike, so it was, wasn't going to get covered, the game, so it was always going to be the Celtic uh, cine cameras it was going to, but again, that, that wasn't even a, a thought, there was only one thought in our mind, to beat Rangers to win the league. Four two game, yeah. Ten men won the league, yeah. Without a doubt, it's it's one of the ones, Peter. I don't know how many were at the game that night, but the amount of people I've spoken to, because into hundreds of thousands that they were at the game, and it's just a, it's, and I'm proud to talk to folk who were there, and they still has it, have it as one of their greatest memories. Because we've had so many great memories, whether I've been at the club or not been at the club, there's been some great memories from the past and you look back at them and say, oh that's fantastic and you always remember my goal in the 4-2 game and uh, to be part of someone's memory and one of the greatest nights because it's not often a 10-man old firm team beats the other side to win a title so it was really special for us all and my thought at the time was I've got to work even hard harder and I've got to go into the players They've got to work harder. We've all got to go and do a wee bit more. We're a man down. And I think we played the second half and we, we didn't look as though anyone turning up to watch the second half wouldn't know that we were down to 10 men. Because at no point did we sit in. At no point did we try to waste time. And every time we got the ball, we had one thought, let's go forward for a goal. Uh, Roy Aitken, George McCluskey, Colin Jackson and myself. Remember I was doing a, a question answer one night with Colin Jackson and he was asked the question, what was his favourite ever goal? And he turned and looked at me and said, Murdo's goal. And I thought, oh, you'll not get away with that. And then he said, the reason being, if he hadn't scored, then I would have won Celtic the title. So he was quite happy to see me scoring that goal. The amount of times we picked up the ball, Peter, we just wanted to go forward. And we, we, we never came out, we went forward, we, we lost the ball, we just worked hard to, to get the ball back. But at that time, we'd push forward down the, the inside left channel, the ball was passed to me. And I think, did I take, I think I took a touch. And my thought was, I'm going to hit the ball as hard as I can. If I miss the target, I'll go up the Celtic end, and the Celtic punters will hold the ball there and then the, the game will end. And then the other thought was, if I hit it well, I'll get in the top corner. And then I hit it well and it was just a dream. You know, it's, when you're a young kid and you, you see the cine camera of it now and you just think, 20 years of age, you know, I've just left Dumbarton and I've, I've got a Premier League medal and I've scored the winner and the, the, you know, to win the title. The category came up, the best old firm goal, and I'm sitting watching it. And it was one Henrik, not Meg Conterman, and Chip Stephen Kloss, we Jimmy Johnson, I think it was at Hamden, left foot, top corner, and I thought, this is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And then an old black and white one came up, all grainy, and the, the sparkles were coming out, and I'm thinking, this is something from the 30s. And I kind of bent forward, and I'm, oh, that's mine. And they showed the goal. But obviously the goal was, Never going to be the, the, the great pictures. The goal is came from the memory of all the Celtic fans. It came from their heart. That 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 was the one that, you know, because I was fortunate enough to score a, a League Cup final against Rangers, and but that's still not as important as winning the league. For me, looking back, was when the Lisbon Lions came in and walking into the dressing room, and you've got guys 
who when you were a wee boy seen them lifting the European Cup and nine in a row seeing these guys come in cuddling you and greeting shaking your hand and but for me that that was that was so special when you're just a kid and you, you, the Lisbon Lions are walking in and they're applauding you you think wow we've done something really special tonight